a big part of what we're doing here is just helping make anybody make sure anybody has the opportunity to make films, make movies, and we do a community spotlight uh, every month for open music sessions. And the community spotlight for this month uh, is Eric Galatis. He's going to talk to us about Mile High Chronicles. So Eric, do you want to come up here, please? There you are. Uh, and. I'll just share this microphone with you. <laughs> um, so, uh, Eric, uh, tell us a little about your project. Also, you've been doing community media work uh, in Denver and before that in Seattle for a long time. So, anything you want to say about about uh, about the project that you're doing and the kind of context of why you're doing it? Sure. Um, well, I want to say first of all, thank you very much for allowing us to to do the premiere of uh, Mile High Chronicles at uh, Open Media Foundation, Denver Open Media. Thank you very much for having us. Um, I'm also on the board of <laughs> Open Media Foundation, so a plug, anyone who wants to join, um, pl please uh, step up and uh, you really can do everything that they're saying that you can do um, with the tools that are made available here. Um, become a member, uh, volunteer, join the board um, if you'd like to. Um, I, uh, I came here from Seattle to work uh, with Free Speech TV, but before I was working with Free Speech TV, I. I, I had up my hands in a lot of different community media projects, so uh, th this, this place is near and dear to my heart. Um, Mile High Chronicles is a new TV series for the web, and it's all locally sourced, so everything you see in the series will come from Denver. Uh, all the musicians that are featured in the series are from Denver. Uh, we have some excellent uh, guest directors for the series, uh, including Tony Shawcross will we'll be directing yeah. I believe episode four, I can't remember. Um, Mayor Trevathan is, is directing an episode. We've, we've got a, a really exciting casting session that's happening tomorrow at this location here. And we hope to kick off the production in about a week. Uh, we're, we, we can't announce yet uh, exactly who our cannabis sponsors will be, um, but we are lining up some pretty interesting local cannabis sponsors who are gonna help promote it. Uh, but the story of the series follows Cassandra. She's a young, visionary computer programmer. She, she's also an immigrant, and so we think it's a kind of a topical and timely story. And she's new to Denver. She doesn't know anybody. She's driving for this rideshare program called Drift. Um, and one of the features of Drift is that you can smoke uh, in, in any of the cars that are, that are uh, driving. Um, and she meets a lot of different colorful local characters in Denver and their favorite cannabis products. Um, and eventually, by the end of season one, she will have helped build community. A lot of this is about community. A lot of the series is about building community uh, to confront um, a group of Trump-emboldened neo-Nazis. So that's where it's going for season one. That's basically it. And is that what we're going to see? You want to tell people what we're about to watch? Sure. Um, this, what we're going to see now is the pilot episode. It's episode one, and it's about five or six minutes long. Each episode's going to be very short. Um, and we'll meet Cassandra, the protagonist, and we'll get, we'll get a little setup of what you'll see in each episode, uh, what she has to deal with. Um, oh, and each episode also contains a classic scene from a classic movie. So if you want to keep your eyes peeled, it's disguised, but you, you might be able to figure it out. So you guys are in for a great show tonight, for reals. Uh, the comic is great, and uh, uh, Pop It, Molly Rainey, is maybe my favorite act in Denver right now. So you guys are really in for a treat. It all starts with Mile High Chronicles. Uh, let's roll the clip. Thank <laughs> you. 
Outbreak wildfire is only 7% contained. Last month was the hottest month on record again. Floods in the Bible Belt have caused eight schools to evacuate. Species extinctions are on the rise, according to new analysis by Yale University. Food scientists are particularly alarmed by a rapid decrease in the number of wheat species, which, along with other grains, have not recovered from prolonged drought. Would you mind not smoking? Yeah, sorry. So how's your day going? Oh, it's good. I finally got a chance to talk to the director at the Sunset Center. You know, the old folks home? I'm gonna host a movie night there. That's cool. Is that where you work? No, no, I'm a contractor. I do big data entry for Vista returns. They're basically the Uber of insurance actuary projections, predicting when people die. But ultimately, I'm going to be a filmmaker. <laughs> why, why does your smoke smell like your strawberries? That's Blue Dream. It's 25% off this week at Denver Chronic. So what do you do when you're not driving for the Uber of extreme bargain ride shares? Um, not much. You don't have a food cart or a, a startup? You're not worried about driverless cars? I'm working on a few mobile apps. So what did they say about the movie night? It's cool as long as I do it on my own hours. Like, Bernice was psyched. Like, she's a real firecracker. I was just telling her we'd finally get a chance to watch The Godfather. You know, that's her favorite. And then all of a sudden... What happened? It was crazy. Look. Cute kid. That's Bart. Spoiled rotten. Still wets the bed. Bernice loan is tapped. I don't think I have any cash. It's okay. This one's on me. Really? Thanks. Oof. Hey, here's my cell. Keep me posted on your apps, okay? Mm -hmm. They sound really cool. <laughs>
Yeah, give it up, everybody. And please put out your joints now. We're gonna resume filming. Okay, everyone, under your seat with the with the paraphernalia right now. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm excited for uh, the rest of that. That's awesome. Life, death, marijuana. I'm sold. I'm into it.